everyone even though we have all this right information correct information and accurate information also we have good strategies but then many people and many companies also many countries are struggling and failing is it because you're doing something wrong or is it because you don't have the right information no everyone the world is full of the right information freely available but you don't know how to match or be one with the right information which you already have hello everyone and welcome to mind education class in this class we are going to discuss about change and we will speak about why people need change why change is necessary right and then we will speak about who can change right uh, that will give us a clue of conditions for change uh, also we will definitely speak about who needs change right um, so a lot of people are living in this life uh, some think they need some change in their lives and some think no I'm okay I need not to change anything about my life um, but when we look deeper into this topic we will understand definitely that change affects each and every one of us and therefore we need to adjust to change somehow in our lives whether it's a company whether it's an individual or even a country so let's first start uh, speaking about why change is necessary uh, let's pick a few examples uh, each and every day as we live our lives uh, we have daytime and we have night time look on these things we do not have control you cannot control when day should come or when night should come uh, but all you can do is what adjust to these changes right these are the conditions that change day by day after day we have night after night we have a day and you have to work somehow to prepare for this too you cannot just live your life as though it's still a day when it's at night right you need to now start thinking okay then i need street lights because night is coming and i will have to walk on the streets then you start thinking about how to make street lights that's just a simple example and then we have seasons we have summer we have autumn winter spring for all these seasons we need to prepare and work for uh, for these times so that we can live comfortably in these times right according to how much thoughtful we are uh, that is how much comfortable we are going to live in these seasons. If I did not think enough about my uh, time, how I'm going to live in winter, right? I might find myself freezing somewhere around the street, not knowing where to sleep. That's just a simple example. Uh, so that is to say I need to prepare for all these things and they do affect me they affect my life and because of this i need to change the way i'm living i need to adapt to change right so times are changing conditions are changing therefore i need to change too i need to adapt with times and conditions so definitely you 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 live in this very same world in which I live therefore you also need change I feel like these two examples which I have given you are too basic uh, even though they they really say something about change uh, let's let's look at uh, one company there is a company called Kodak uh, which was uh, established in 1892 so this company was doing very well in selling uh, camera films so at that time we didn't have uh, digital cameras so they used something called a film and then with this film uh, they would uh, insert it in the camera and then start 
shooting photos, shooting photos, and then uh, all the photos are recorded on this film, and then they will use the film to produce the photos. So anyhow, um, this company got very rich and wealthy at its time. So uh, they, they, they even went to a point where they become the first uh, people to discover digital camera. At that time, there was no digital camera at all when they discovered the digital camera. And it's very, very far long ago. That was in 1975. Um, 1975 they discovered a digital camera so uh, looking at how much they are making while selling the film and looking at this new uh, newly found digital camera which one of their engineers found uh, they did not take a step forward they did not change anything in their company they rather said, uh, do not tell anyone about it, just keep it. We will continue selling the films like before. So they continued to sell their films and surprisingly uh, to them, companies like Canon and Sony advanced very quickly and they also discovered digital uh, camera. Uh, this digital technology uh, was discovered by not even Canon and Sony only, but many other companies discovered this technology and they started using it and developing products and then uh, manufacturing these products and selling them out there. And then with time, Kodak couldn't keep up with the competition. So they, they really lost uh, the market uh, because of these competitors, uh, they couldn't keep up. When they wanted now to uh, take a step in digital photography, they were at that time very far behind other companies. So they couldn't keep up. Basically, they started losing and losing until they were 100% bankrupt. Uh, so that was the fall of Kodak and that was uh, in 2012 when it signed a total bankruptcy. So now uh, there's a lot to learn out of uh, the rise and fall of uh, Kodak. So <clears throat> let, let's look at a few, a few factors here. Uh, why did, uh, did Kodak fall, right? Uh, one thing that we can see is that Kodak was comfortable, right? Because at some point it was controlling 70% uh, of uh, sales in selling films. So it, it was actually uh, not even compared to any uh, company out there. So this was a good condition of Kodak. It had a very, very good condition. So it was comfortable in its own success, right? Uh, so this is the same thing which is happening in us. When you look at yourself and when I look at myself, I, I, I can point to something, some quality in me, or you can point to some quality in you, which makes you a better person, right? Which uh, you, you are comfortable about. Let me say I'm tall, I think I'm tall and I feel good about being tall um, and I want to boast about being tall. Uh, surely you also say have something else you can at least be better at. Uh, so when we, when we dwell into our own goodness, we can see and realize that actually it blinds us not to see the reason for change. We, we, we tend to be comfortable and <clears throat> unfortunately, we become blind to see the reason for change. Uh, what else can we say about uh, this uh, situation of Kodak? Uh, as 
which will help us to understand why people need to change, why companies need to change, and why countries need to change. Uh, first of all, we have seen that it was comfortable because it had something to boast about. So if I have something to boast about, if you have something to boast about and you dwell in that thing, you become blind, you cannot see uh, the reason for change. You cannot see the reason for taking a step forward because you are comfortable at your position. You do not feel uh, the need for change. You do not feel like you are competing. You will not even realize your rivalries. Your rivals, sorry. Um, so let's continue and find one other thing. <clears throat> uh, in this world, right, there are, I already talked about uh, the competitors, which, which I want to emphasize that uh, except for my good condition, there are those who are against or rather opposite to whatever I'm doing or whoever I am. So uh, this is one of the things or the reasons why we need to uh, change because if I remain where I am, it means my rivals are going to defeat me at some point. So uh, I believe with this story of Kodak, you are able to realize that it doesn't matter how good you are doing at this point, but there are factors which you do not control. You do not have control over uh, time itself. You do not have control over the conditions that may occur. You do not have control over your rivals. So all the time we need to change and what is it that can help us change? We need the right information, right? We need to uh, have the right information that will lead us to make good decisions, uh, which we will come to and which is the most basic thing. Uh, as, as I always say, there is correct and accurate and right information out there which we can access at any time, but we need to know our position first. We need to know also how to match and be one with that information. At least for now, we know that we are people who need change at all times. We need to change, right? And then we can see the necessity of change uh, because we do not control factors which affect our lives. So I will speak about another thing now um, as to who actually needs change which we have somehow spoke about it already. <clears throat> uh, since we have realized through the experience of Kodak that uh, <clears throat> we, we do have rivals and that as time goes on, seasons change, people's interests change, and so many other things change, then each and every one of us is living within uh, this world where all these things are taking place. Uh, <clears throat> so that would suggest that each and every person needs change. I need to change, you need to change. You need to keep on uh, adapting to changes that are happening. However, it still remains, uh, how do I change? What do I need to change? Basically, you just need the right information and apply that information into your life. Uh, so our main, main uh, challenge and concern is, is that, yes, there is the right information there out there that can help me to change. But then how do I apply that information into my life or into my company or into my country? Uh, <clears throat> so I will speak about, uh, since we have discovered also that you and me need to change. Now I will pass on to speak about the conditions now for change. The first condition is that you need the right information. <clears throat> uh, a lot of people have realized and have come to understand that, yes, I need to change. 
yes, I need some change in my life. Because they realized so many failures as they continue their lives. So now, the problem is how do, we, do they change? How do you change? How do I change? And that is not even a big problem if we know. So now, the first thing that can help us is to have the right information, the correct and accurate information, which I'm saying is available out there on the internet and from many other sources. People can get information easily and freely. The main or the biggest problem is how do you merge with this information? How does it become part of your life? And how does it become truly useful in your life? Uh, and that is the core thing in this in this lecture so uh, we were speaking about uh, now the conditions for change uh, so here's the thing the first one you need accurate and correct information we, we we have talked about that and i believe you understand that and now how do we apply this information in our lives? So now we need to understand that uh, through all the examples that we spoke about, especially the example of Kodak, we realize that we are people who do not control all the factors that affect our lives. And these factors are leading us to failure. And we are unable by ourselves to defeat all the conditions that come into our lives, right? Even the, the highest presidents in this world are unable to keep their positions because of the conditions, right? And also, uh, the most important one is to realize that my goodness is not enough to make me a perfect person. As you have seen, Kodak was very good at some point in time but that time what happened it passed the rivals rose and took that position and it couldn't defeat them so by myself i need to realize my position very well that okay by myself i'm not perfect right and now i start feeling the need to seek and sought helpful information all right, so that I can become a better person, so that I can change uh, for the better, right? So now, I always say, right information is available. Correct uh, and accurate information is available out there. And it's free, right? It's free. Believe me, it's free. It's on the internet. It's everywhere. The correct information that has to help you change. So now, now that we realize our position, how much we need change, how much we need uh, the right information, uh, how much my goodness is not good enough, if we realize this is the first step, right? This step will help you to seek information like never before. But if you are still relying on your goodness, you are not going to have the motive to seek or and sort information that's going to help you so first of all you need to realize yourself that your goodness is not enough my goodness is not enough and then having realized this now we have a new mindset we have a new heart to seek and sort what can help us what can make us a better uh, better people or better company or better country right and then uh, now we have the information, as I said, the information is free and it's there out there. It's accessible. Now we have the information. Companies have good strategies and the countries do have good strategies and people have good plans. It's not that people fail because they do not have information that can help them. No. And also the companies do not fail because they don't have information. They do and I do and you do and the countries also do. But then why do they fail? Which is the most important part of this lecture. 
and I said, um, this last part is the most important. So if you pay more attention, you will uh, come out of this lecture as a very happy person having received this wisdom. So the main challenge or the main problem is that uh, <clears throat> having discovered ourselves, having the right information in front of us, but we see people failing, companies failing, and the country is failing. Why? The reason is because people, companies, and countries do not know how to merge, right? How to be one with this correct and accurate information which can help them. Then how do we become one? How do we merge with this information? Uh, this is the first class that we have. Uh, for mind education, so I'm trying to make it as simple as possible not to speak about many things if only you could catch this one first uh, Know your position know who you are Discover yourself that okay. My goodness is not enough Discover the fact that also my strength is not enough Right with that heart with that mindset you will be able to seek this correct information which we are talking about and which I'm saying it's free, it's out there, right? And then now when you have this information, the most important thing is to merge with it because people are failing with it already. Uh, so how do we merge with the right information? <laughs> it sounds very interesting, it sounds complex, but actually it's easy. Uh, you know, you have to get rid of so many things, so many things. It's like take a picture of a tree, an apple tree, right? Full of apples and you have to get rid of all these apples. This tree is continuing to produce apples all the time. That would mean you have to go up, I mean, pick all these apples and throw them away. They come up again, they, the tree bears these apples again. So it's a lot of work, right? You are trying to uh, to wake up very early and work hard and seek information that can help you. You you do all the uh, many many things, right? That's that it doesn't work that way. It looks like it has to work that way. You have to um, strengthen yourself, wake up in the morning, and do a lot of work for this change. No, it doesn't help. A lot of people have tried it in that way. They can only toil and no change. So it's supposed to be easy, right? Uh, the apples are on the tree, so let's get rid of the whole tree so that we do not have those apples anymore. So what is the tree that holds um, all these things? What is the tree that holds me... Uh, relying on my goodness which is not enough what is the tree that blinds me to see that i need to change and so many other disadvantages that is self-trust if i trust myself if i trust myself who is imperfect right if i trust some goodness in me then I am unable to realize the need to change. I am unable to realize the need to seek more information. Right? My effort towards listening to you will not be uh, enough because I trust myself. I feel like I don't need you that much. I feel like I do not need to seek more information. Just exactly like what happened to Kodak. Kodak trusted and relied on its success. Yes, at that time it was successful, but the bottom line is that your success or your goodness is not enough. And once you know this, no matter what level of life you are, you will keep on seeking information that makes you a better person. Right? If you look into all these disadvantages which hinders us, to change or to take a step forward. They are all contained in self-trust. So self-trust by itself is very destructive. 
it blinds you from seeing other things, from seeking other things. You become comfortable with yourself, within yourself, right? You become a person who is satisfied wherever you are. But now, the conditions of this world are not always favorable to us, right? And they come sometimes greater than we are, and we are unable to defeat them. Just like Kodak. So the bottom line of this topic and the most important thing of this uh, lecture is for you to realize that self-trust is destructive. I thank you very much for joining, uh, for joining us in this lecture, for being part of this lecture. And I believe that you will follow many other lectures that will come. And I hope that you have discovered uh, wisdom in mind education. And I promise that you will always discover wisdom in mind education. Follow Mind Education, listen to all these lectures, and you will become a better person. Thank you.